Beards oh. FPV, yeah. bro. So today I'm going to do a review between the Low Pro Drone Guard CS300 and the Horizon Hobby Blade drone racing bag and anybody who's observant will be able to pick which one is the winner because my quads are strapped to the outside of it so you can clearly tell which one I use. I'm going to start with the blade bag. Where the blade bag gains its points really is extra storage. Before we even open up the inside there's this big pouch down here that goes right to the bottom of the bag. For props and whatever. And on the back side, there's another pouch here, I guess for a laptop, maybe. So let's open this up now. Inside, got two more nice pouches up here. Prop, I used to keep props and stuff in there as well. But inside, there's lots of compartments you can move around and stuff. The nice thing about this is it's huge. When I use this bag, I used to be able to keep my transmitter bag in here. My whole transmitter bag fits in there. You can still see there's still room on top here. I can't use that in my new bag, which is kind of a bummer. Lots of space, lots of things. Again, lots of storage. More pouches down the side here. This side too. Just little pouches on the insides of these things. These are all removable. This all Velcro's in. So you can completely move it around. Now my biggest gripe with this bag is it's a soft bag. It offers zero protection. That's why I bought this for my DX8. You can crush it dropped it. I, I don't know how much protection it would offer your stuff, but it holds a lot of stuff. If you're not worried about protection, this is a decent bag. Except one more thing that I really, really didn't like about this bag. Look at the straps on this. This is where they attach at the top, which, okay, great, they're removable, but that's where your shoulder sits. Right on those plastic things. I don't know if you can see that. Your shoulder sits right here. You know how comfortable that gets after five minutes? I challenged somebody from Horizon Hobbies to wear this thing for 20 minutes full of drone gear and walk through a field or a forest to get to where they're flying. As you can see on the back though, or on the back of the straps, there is even more storage. There's another thing here where you can put like a I guess your cell phone or whatever. Actually, no, I guess this one's for your cell phone. And then there's this one here. So, yeah, again, tons and tons and tons of storage. So now the Low Pro CS300 Drone Guard. First thing, hard sides. You can't really hurt anything inside that without actually trying. I mean, if you drop it, all my stuff is in there. Since I started ended with the straps on the other one, let's start with the straps on this one. Also removable, but look what they've done. The padding, the padding goes underneath the buckle, so it's comfortable to wear. So I'll take my drones off, because these are just literally little cat or dog collars through these loops. So you just take these guys, loop them through, and then clip them back on themselves. So there's just the one storage area on the outside here. And it's tight. Like that's as far as I can get my hand in. Even though it goes down to the bottom, I can't get my hand in that far. So I don't really use that. So let's open it up now. One thing I'm going to say before I even open it up, the zippers on this thing are huge. These zippers are never going to break. So open that up. As you can see, not nearly as much space in this one. So let's start with the top, and I'm not going to go through what I've actually got in here. I'll do a what's in my bag video in a little bit, but for now I'll just show you the storage. So there's this thing for all your tools and props and stuff up here. In here there's a spot for your, I guess your tablet, your tuning, 
I keep wires and stuff in there. And this whole thing actually comes right off. So you can take your tools separately if you have to. In the bottom here, basically just room for your essentials. Radio, batteries, comes with this nice little bag, which I've got my fat charts and stuff in, and then I've got enough room for a plastic container full of odds and ends, a couple sets of props, I usually carry a bag of other props, some spare antennas, spare antennas, and my TS100 portable soldering iron. So that's about it. That's about all you can hold in here, really. Um, there's no other hidden storage. That's it. What you see is what you get. It forces you to not carry things you don't need with you. And it's very comfortable to wear. The straps are very comfortable. You could easily hike through the forest with this thing for half an hour, 45 minutes, without even realizing it was on your back. I mean, you're going to know it's there, but not because it's hurting you or bugging you in any way. So the pros and cons of this bag, the CS300. Uh, we'll go over the pros first. It's tough. It's comfortable to wear and walk around with. It's not too heavy considering how tough it is. Um, it's got enough room for what you need and nothing more. And I'm also, that'll also be a con in a second. Um, it's got lots of places here to strap quads so you can see I've only got two on the outside right now but you could easily put a couple more if you wanted to. Um, cons, again, it's got enough room for what you need but nothing more. Um, I used to carry, the other bag I used to carry my drones in my bag, now I have to carry them on the outside. I also used to be able to bring a couple tiny whoops everywhere with me in my bag and I can't do that anymore, not without taking some batteries out. Um, and no, I don't store my batteries in my bag. I was flying this afternoon. does come with this nice bag here for your fat sharks. And the reason I switched from my hard case that the fat sharks came in is it's now in a hard case, so I don't need it. And this has room for antennas and stuff, too. So get all my antennas in there and everything else. It all fits in there nicely. The only other con I can think for this, for the Low Pro, is price. If you don't get this on sale, they're north of 100 bucks some places. I live in Canada, so it's really expensive. Um, I think this is like $130 at Best Buy. Yeah, crazy, right? I got this for $30 American. And there's places that keep having it on sale every now and then, so just keep your eyes on Facebook and stuff. Guys keep posting it. That's how I found it. If you live in Canada... You can get it for $30 American, but it also costs you $35 or $40 to ship it. And something to get it across the border as well, I don't remember. It was still cheaper than buying it from Best Buy. And I had it literally two days later from the place I ordered it. I'll start with the pros on the blade bag. The first one, obviously, tons of extra storage. Storage everywhere. Storage here, storage, it's just storage everywhere. The other pro is obviously the size of it. It's huge. I used to put my quads down here, carry two quads here, all my fat sharks, a couple tiny whoops up here, transmitter down here, my bag of batteries on top. Now, that's also a con. The size is a con. If you're doing what I'm doing, it's rather large. The other con, soft-sided. And the other con, if you pay full price for this, they're like $130 too. I got a deal on this, that's why I bought this. Another con, how uncomfortable the straps are. So to sum it up, which bag should you pick? It Honestly, it depends what you're doing. There are a few people out there who will like this bag. I mean, if you're just going from your car to an indoor racetrack or something and you needed as much space as you can get, maybe that is for you if you don't have to carry it far. I mean, if you get them both at regular price, they're both about the same price. So that completely takes this out of the equation. Um, having said that, if you have to carry your stuff any distance whatsoever or for any length of time, there's only one choice here. It's the low pro.
especially if you can get it for $30. I'll see if I can find the name of the company and that I got mine from and put it right here because honestly, two days later in Canada I had my bag. I was blown away. So yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Um, let me know if you like this bag. If anybody uses this bag, let me know because I'm kind of curious. I used it for probably six months and honestly I would have kept using it if this didn't come on sale for such a good deal because I didn't want to spend $130 on a bag when I already had a bag worth $130. Again, I didn't pay full price for it, so I got a good deal.